How to trade, swap, and withdraw using PancakeSwap. Easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can get started with PancakeSwap. So let's get into it. Now, PancakeSwap is an amazing platform. They also have the, their own crypto token that they have launched, and it is a platform where you can earn some passive income as well as store your cryptocurrency tokens and trade them as well. Plus, they also have a NFT collection now. So they have created their own NFT marketplace where you can see different collections. There are multiple different people uploading and they are now going into the NFT market as well. They have multiple different collections and there is a lot of activity on the NFT marketplace on PancakeSwap as well. So to get started with trading, swapping, and simply using the PancakeSwap platform, just head on over to PancakeSwap.finance. So this is very essential. There are a lot of copycats or dupes or fake websites that are trying to replicate PancakeSwap, but their original link is PancakeSwap.finance. So once you have done that, you're going to have to connect your crypto wallet to PancakeSwap. So so you can see on the top right, you have a button over here. It says connect wallet. And if you have your wallet installed on your Chrome bar, you'll be able to see that. And you can use any wallet. It could be MetaMask. It could be the Phantom wallet. It could be Coinbase, whatever wallet that you are using to store your crypto. You can go on ahead and click on connect wallet and it will show you the options over here. And once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to select the wallet of your choice. We're connecting our MetaMask wallet. So we will just click on MetaMask over here here you will get a notification and once you get this notification from your metamask account you're just going to click on switch network and this is switching to the bnb smart chain you can choose to switch back to ethereum as well so you can go on ahead and switch back to ethereum and once you have switched back to ethereum what you're going to do is now you have your account linked so now my metamask wallet has been linked over here and you will be able to see your eth balance your bnb smart chain balance your all of your transactions to your wallet and your wallet address as well now after that you also have your settings so you have a basic dark mode subgraph health indicator and username now on the top left you have your trading you also have your earning section the win section and the nft section so to get started with trading just go on ahead and click on the trade section over here and once you go on to the trade section you have multiple different options so first off you have swap and in this method you can choose any of the tokens that you already have and you can swap them for any other token of your choice so you can go on ahead and copy or add these tokens to your metamask wallet and just uh, deposit these tokens and this is very simple and easy then you have your liquidity options so you can go on ahead and join a liquidity pool and this is going to enable you to add liquidity so you can add your tokens and you can join a liquidity pool so you can go on ahead and just click on find LP tokens and import different kinds of liquidity pools over here to join a liquidity pool as well. And this is another way to just, you know, receive tokens back, earn interest on your tokens as well. Then you have the bridge and perpetual. So if you click on the bridge section over here, you can bridge to a different blockchain. So you can say let's say you want to bridge your ethereum your usdt ethereum to the usdt bnb network so in this way you can bridge from one blockchain to another and you will be able to see the total amount of that you will be receiving from your bridge then you also have the earn section on pancake swap so if you click on earn over here you can click on farms and you can see that you have multiple different liquidity pool tokens that you can earn you can see you have a eth and usdc token eth and usdt wbtc plus eth tokens as well and you can see the aprs so the apr is the cake guild only and then the lp rewards are the estimated aprs then you have the total liquidity that is present in that pool and you also have a multiplier so you can add a multiplier to the liquidity pool you can see different liquidity pools will have different multipliers as well and you can choose the live tokens to see all the liquidity pools that are available for you or you can even go into the finished ones to see that 
that you have previously worked on as well. Then you also have your basic info sections, the basic bloating sections on PancakeSwap as well. Now, if you want to disconnect your wallet, you can simply go on ahead and go into the wallet address on the top right and click on disconnect. And if you want to choose a different network, simply click on the network that you want to go to, click on switch network, and this will enable you to switch networks. Now, with Ethereum, there are some limitations on PancakeSwap if you're on the Ethereum network. Now you saw I just switched on BNB Smart Chain and you can see the liquidity farms are now available for me. And there are certain things that might not be available to you on the Ethereum network. And for that, I do recommend moving to the BNB Smart Chain. On the BNB Smart Chain, you can see we have syrup pools with high APRs and low risk and they have multiple different token options as well. Plus, you also have limit options on PancakeSwap. So from here, you can begin trading as well, and you can choose any of the initial tokens. Let's say I want to use the cake that I have. So let's say I want to use the cake that I have to buy BNB, so on and so forth. You can choose any two tokens to begin trading. You will be able to see a trading chart for one week, one month, one year, however long you want. And if you scroll down, you have your open orders, you have your order history, and all the basic info that you would need for your basic trading. It's not as complicated as the other crypto trading graphs, but it conveys all the basic information that you might need for a crypto token. And from here, you can select any two tokens let's say i want to go on ahead and take a look at ethereum and i want to compare that with btcb token and just taking this token pair over here it's going to load the chart data and it just takes a little bit of time usually it's easier to get data for a, a standardized token like bnb or usdt and a stake token or a basic token like ethereum or polkadot matic whatever other token you want to choose and you can see the conversion rates that you're getting and you can trade over here as well so this is the 24 hour price history i can enter amount so let's say I have one ETH would convert to 4.5374 BNB at the market price. This is the price that I'm getting, BNB per ETH. And you can see you can go on ahead and trade that. I don't have any balance or any Ethereum in my account. Plus, you also have V1 and V2 trading. So in PancakeSwap, they also had a V1 exchange. That was the older version. V2 is the current and updated version that you guys can see over here. Then you also have a win option. So this is a new item that has been introduced with PancakeSwap where you can, where there are trading competitions, where there is a prediction, where you can predict prices to earn money. You also have a lottery on PancakeSwap to earn money as well. Plus, you also have a lottery beta version where you can earn more on the PancakeSwap platform. And then you also have the IFOs on PancakeSwap where there are private sales and public sales for the Magpie as well. So that was it for today. This is how easy and simple it is to trade, swap, and exchange and win currencies or tokens on PancakeSwap. It's a simple and easy to use platform and it can really simplify having your wallet and switching or bridging to different networks on your Ethereum-based wallet or Solana-based wallet, whatever wallet you might be using. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.